Drawing polygons in InDesign is an adventure. You never know quite what you're going to get, but it's fun, and I'll show you how. The first step is to get the polygon tool, which is hiding behind the rectangle tool. Simply drag from one corner to another, and there you have a shape. Now, why does it have this number of sides? It's because that is what I drew the last time I drew a polygon. So while I'm still in the polygon tool, I will click off to the side and get this wonderful box that shows me how many sides it's got and how much inset there is. Now the inset is the percentage of distance from the outside to the inside here. If it were 100%, I will change this to 100%. It would go all the way into the center. Let's see what happens. Yes. So that's not what I want. I'm going to move this to the side. That's not what I want. So I'm going to click off to the side and see what happens. Nothing happened. That's because I moved this. I touched it with another tool besides the polygon tool. So now I have to go back to the polygon tool and if I double click on it, I get a settings box. Let's say I decide now that I would like to have a hexagon. That has got six sides and it has zero inset. I'm gonna click okay and drag, and I get a hexagon. I can size it any way I like. Now let's say I decide that I want to have something more like a star. Double click on this, and let's give it 21 sides and some kind of an inset that's a little more drastic than what we have had before. Click OK. All right, this looks like a starburst in an ad. I'm going to make it look a little more irregular so it'll look more interesting. Using the direct selection tool, I'm just going to grab some of these points and some of these insets and change them a little just to make it look a little more lively. And I can carry on doing that and make a wonderful starburst. So now you know how to make a polygon of any shape or size. Wasn't that fun?